the upper. Especially which which ones? Operations with the wall numbers. Uh, what about this? You do this. Which one? The fractions. This equivalent fractions. Did you do it? Yes, I did. Okay. What's your answer to this? Uh, I can't see the. You can't see my screen? No, I can't. Oh, one minute. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Yes, I can see now. Okay, so did you do this equivalent fractions? Yes, let me see where I stopped. No, no, this one I did not do it. Okay, now try I, them. Okay. Try this first part, the equivalent fraction part. Okay. That's this this one. All right. Uh, I don't think we, we, you showed me an example of this one. Cause okay. we were, oh, we were you, haven't, the... you, you haven't watched it. You know, you told me you have done day three. Have you watched okay. the videos here? I didn't finish. We were, I was still on the adding, subtracting fractions oh, and mixed numbers. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hold um, on. So I think, can you uh, convert from proper, improper to mixed fraction? Did you watch yes. that video? Okay, all right, start uh, from uh, here then. I think I was just starting on day three. Oh, mm. Mm. hold on. Mm. Can you do this? Adding okay, distractions. Okay. Okay. One minute. Oh. Hello, Kelly. Good morning. Hello, Kelly. Good morning. Morning. How are you doing? I'm good in here. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, uh, let me know where where are you on this on this uh, which of the video, which of the days are you on? Hello, Kelly. Which of the days have you done? Day one, day two, day three? I did that already. Okay, you've done day one, day two, and day three, right? Yes. Okay. Have you, have you done the exercises on day three? I'm just have looking you... for my book. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, Chantel, how's it going? Should I continue? I hadn't started. Should I continue with the exercise? Yes, yes, okay. yes. yes. Oh, all right. Yeah, try this four, this first four. Okay. So add them and subtract since you have watched the videos. Yeah. All right. Um, mas, I, um, my book is not working here. I think my sister accidentally took it with her to her classes. Okay. All right. So if you were um, done day three, I want you to also do this now. Do this addition and subtract, uh, addition of fractions. Let's see.
How is it going? Chantel, what number are you on? I'm almost done. All right. Kelly, where are you? Almost done, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I'm done. Okay, I'm can, done, you send, can you send your picture on the group? Okay. I've sent it, ma'am. Okay. Kelly. Are you done? We're waiting for you. I'm on the second row. Okay.
I'm done. Okay, send a picture on the group, okay? Okay, so um, Chantel, this is good work. Yes, so there's a street good work here. Okay. Then here, you I've didn't, seen an error. <laughs> you, you see, you see an error, right? <laughs> this line of things, that's where you need to watch the video on LCM. Okay, let's come okay. on more. All right. Um, I instantly uh, multiplied. Yes. Uh, Kelly, have you sent yours? I've seen it now. Okay. Okay. So you need to know how to find the LCM. So try to watch that video. All right. Let me do one for you now. So this is nine okay. and six. To look for the LCM, you know, LCM means least common multiples. So you have yes, to look yes. for the multiples of nine and the multiples of six. Then what is the common of the multiples? So the multiples of nine, we have uh, uh, nine times one is nine. Nine, nine times two is 18. Eight. Nine times yeah. three is 27. We can stop here. The multiples of yes. three, six is six times six. one is six. Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. Okay. Yeah. And you know, we're looking for the least common multiple. So the least common multiple of nine and six is 18. So that's what we're going to use here. So it will be four over five over nine. Yes. Plus five over six. And we have 18. All right. And from yes. here, what do we do? We say nine in 18 gives us one, uh, two. Two. two times four gives us eight, plus six in 18 gives us three, and three times five gives us what? 15. So we have eight plus 15. What is eight plus 15? That would give us uh, 23, 23 over 18. Do we see that? Yes, Kelly, do you see Okay, Kelly, do you see that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you get this? Have you sent it on the group? Yes, I did. Let me see. Okay. Oh, good. 23. Good, good one. Okay, I'll kill you. Good. All right. So from here, you we know we can't leave our answers like this because this is an improper fraction. So we have to find out how many times 18 will go in 23. And it's going to go one times. And we have a remainder of what? Five. So that will be five over 18 one whole number five over 18. do you see that yes ma'am i do okay so here okay good this is correct 21 one five this is a proper fraction so you don't need to convert okay it's also a proper fraction good job you know how to reduce good one this is also okay. a proper fraction. So here, remember, this is an improper. To convert an improper to a mixed fraction, all right, what you do is you say, how many 18 can we get in 23? We can only get one 18, all right? Then what is the remainder? The remainder meaning subtract 18 from 23. When you subtract 18 from 23, it gives you a remainder of what, five. Then you divide by 18. This is how you convert improper fraction to mixed fraction. Mixed. Okay. okay. All right.
Can we work on this? On this? This first two. Kelly? Um, Kelly, do you hear me? Yes. Let's work on this two. <laughs>
Sorry, man. I was uh, having a little bit of disturbance, but I'm working on number two now. No problem. <clears throat> no problem. Kelly, when you're okay. done, you just send it on the group. Let's look at it together. Yes, I'm busy with the last one. I'm almost done. Okay. Done. Okay, have you sent it on, on the group? Yes. Okay. Chantel, are you done? Yes, ma'am, I'm done. I've sent it on the group. Okay.
Okay. Okay, Kelly. Good job. Good job, all of you. You can see uh, Kelly is using a different style, and uh, Chantel, you also are using a different style. Good, good. The basic, <laughs> the basic thing is that you you all understand it. Good. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah. Can you try out these equivalent fractions? You should be able to do it, Chantel. Mm. <laughs> okay. Look at it. Kelly, try out these five questions, this equivalent fraction. Okay.
Done, ma'am. Okay. Chantel, are you done? No, ma'am, I'm not done. It's not going. <laughs> it should go. <laughs> look, look at it like you are reducing and increasing. Look at it that way. Okay, okay. let me try. I saw you reducing fractions. You should be able to do this. Just um how will i put it just manipulate that knowledge a bit just try 
Okay. Hey Chantel, let's quickly let's let's do it together, okay? Okay, okay. Ah, uh, Kelly, you didn't send what you did. Send it now. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. All right, good one, Kelly. Is this 89? Not 89, I crossed out the eight. Okay. All right, so let's look at it together now. All right. Okay. So it says here, 
So you're looking at equivalent fraction. It says write a fraction that is equivalent to five over nine, but has a denominator of 45, all right? So equivalent fractions or are fractions that are the same, okay? That when okay. you divide them, they give you the same thing. But the numbers, the denominator and the numerator might be different. But when you divide, it will give you the same answer. Okay? So from this question, it says, but has a denominator of 45. So they've given you a clue that the denominator is 45. So what will be the numerator? All right. If we know from here, this is a fraction. And we're looking for its equivalent. And we know that the denominator is 5. 9 times what gives you 45? Nine Chance. times five. Nine oh. times five. All right. So for finding equivalent fraction, when you multiply, whatever you do to your denominator, you do to your numerator. So if you multiply by five, you multiply by five here. So five times five is 25. Okay. Oh, so I this got it. <laughs> Aha. Good. I knew you. Will. I knew you. Will. <laughs> let me let's let me quickly use my calculator to you know show you uh what i what it means by being equivalent okay man. let it come up okay it's okay. I'm coming. Wait. All right. So, mm. all right. So, from here, when you divide five divided by nine, what do you get? Oh, point five 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 nine. We yes. clear. We divide yes. 25 divided by 45. You see, you get the same thing. So they are okay. equivalent. Okay? It, okay. So you have to find out how they can a, a fraction can have its own equivalent. And whatever you multiply by the denominator, that is the same thing you'd multiply with to the word numerator. Okay? Now look okay. at this. It says write a fraction that is equivalent to one over seven, but has a numerator of 21. So numerator 21, remember numerator is upward. All right, so if the numerator is 21, all right, what times uh, one will give us 21? It is 21, are you with me? So yes, we have to multiply by 21, we have to multiply by 21. Okay, and here seven times uh, twenty one will give us seven one forty seven. Do you see that? Are you with me? Seven times yes, not seven by three. Come again. Is it seven by four? No, seven times twenty one. That's what that's what I wrote. Sorry. Okay. Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. okay? Because to get 21 here, you had to do one times 21. So whatever mm -hmm. you want, you use to multiply the numerator is the same thing you use to multiply your denominator. Are you with me? Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am. So 7 times 21 is 147. And let us test. You can always test with the calculator to know if they are equivalent. When you divide 1 divided by 7, you get this 0.42857. You could clear. We do 21 divided by 147. What do we get? Can you see the same thing? Yes. Do you see that? Yes, ma'am. Kelly, yes, ma you see that? Okay, good. Yes, ma'am. So, I saw my mistake, yo. Come again? I saw my mistake. Oh, okay, good. Good. Because I did the 20, I put the 21 as a denominator. Oh, oh. You look at it here, it says numerator. You know, this question is testing your knowledge of fraction. Do you know what mm. the denominator is and do you know what the numerator is? Yes, okay. 
good good all right so um i'm gonna leave this as homework all right let us work on this okay okay ma Chantel. so yes i want us to in fact not only that let us work on all everything here that we haven't done reducing fractions changing fractions and the rest everything here okay let's work on day three practice questions all right please let's finish them up then we'll meet on uh, on monday okay monday eight eight uh either eight or seven p.m I'll, i'm gonna let you know okay yes ma okay ma all right all right take care see you on monday bye. okay thank you bye bye have a lovely weekend <laughs>